Israel says it's moving ahead with plans to launch a full-scale ground offensive on the southern Gazan city of Rafah. Government spokesperson David Menser said the target is four Hamas battalions reportedly based in the city, warning they cannot be shielded from Israel. The Israeli government previously declared Rafah a safe zone and more than half of Gaza's population of 2.3 million sought shelter there. Meanwhile, at the United Nations, the senior humanitarian coordinator for Gaza says the future for many is hanging in the balance as the agency continues to work against difficulties. The health infrastructure in Gaza has been decimated. The few hospitals still standing struggle to operate due to severe shortages of supplies and frequent power outages. As summer draws near and temperatures rise, communicable diseases threaten to sweep through Gaza. Israel says aid has begun moving into Gaza more quickly after international pressure to increase access. Officials say 468 trucks entered the territory on Tuesday, but those numbers have been disputed by the United Nations and the Red Crescent. The UN says some trucks were only half full because of inspection rules.